Hi there. Now in this tutorial I want to extend the work that we've done in the past with looking at Venn diagrams with two sets. We're now going to be working with three sets. And you might in fact want to have a go at this question but I'll take you slowly through it anyway. So we've got here 40 adults who asked what languages they could speak English, French or German and we've got the results here. And because we've got three different languages here and there's going to be some that can do both and some that do all three, some might not even do either, then the Venn diagram is going to look something like this where we have our set for English, set for French and the set for German all contained within the universal set. So I need to put some numbers in here and first of all then we've got 40 adults were asked about what language they could speak so the universal set must contain 40 people. We know that English is spoken by 25 of the adults so put 25 there and French was by 17 and German was by 18. And when I look further down the list here, I see that six spoke English and French. And English and French is represented by this overlap in here. And because it contains two regions, I don't know how that six is spread. Similarly, we've got seven spoke French and German. That's the overlap here, two regions again. And ten spoke English and German. That's those two regions there. So I'm not in a good position at the moment to put these values in. Going to the bottom now, I've got two spoke all three. So that is the central region here. So I can actually put two in there that spoke all three languages. So going back now to this one here that six spoke English and French. I can see that if I've got two here, that must mean that four spoke just English and French, but not German. And similarly, if seven spoke French and German, the total of these two regions, that just leaves us with five in there. And we've got ten spoke English and German, so that means that of these two regions, it must be eight in here to make up the 10. So now I'm in a position to fill in these three regions because if 25 did English we've already accounted for 8, 2 and 4 that's a total of 14 so 25 take away 14 tells me that 11 did just English. Similarly if we've got 17 for French in here adding up 4, 2 and 5 gives me 11 and so we've got 17 minus 11 gives me 6 doing French only. And for German only, adding up 8, 2 and 5 gives me 15. So 18 take away 15 leaves me with 3. And mustn't forget this outer region here. Always check that out. So if we add up all these numbers here, 11, 4, 6, 8, 2, 5 and 3, it comes to 39. So we've got 40 take away 39 leaves me with one person who doesn't speak English, French or German. So now we're in a position to answer these questions here. How many spoke just one language? English, French or German? Well that's got to be the result of 11 for English only, 6 for French only and three here for German only. So the answer then will be 11 plus 6 plus 3 and that gives us a total of 20. And for number two here, how many spoke at least two languages? So at least two languages, that's got to be the four, the eight and the five for those that spoke just two languages. And then you've got the two in here that represents two people who spoke all three languages. So we've got four plus eight plus five, the ones that spoke two languages. 
and the two that spoke all three. And that gives us a total of 19. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea anyway of how we work with three sets. Now, in the next video, I've got another problem which involves algebra as well. It's slightly harder than the one that we've got here. And I would encourage you to have a look at that one. Give it a try.